Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Kaz and welcome back to Sword Art Online Alicization Rising Steel. I realize I've I had the little Lena here for the longest time. How the heck do I change that? <laughs> Perfect, there we go. Alright, before we, we do anything in this video, one thing I did off camera was I, I actually max limit broke my Adis here. She was level, what? 85 or something but thanks to my video yesterday I, I was able to make her level 100 so i went for it because a lot of people kept saying she's really good like one, one of the best as of right now besides you know the other alice which is right over there but anyways how you guys doing today hopefully you all are having a fantastic day today also i changed the home screen just to change it up a little bit but what, what we're gonna be doing in this video today is we are going through the little event right here you know the uh the dark territory uh, story event thingamabobber going against uh L lalipa and shot well no that's that's the old event Th i think this one's like a kobold or something i don't know but yeah increase item drop if you have the new characters that on the banner that came out yesterday and one other thing that was also new to the notices is regular 50 diamond cubed broadcast login bonus so apparently there's going to be a sao new year special uh, presents and new news extravaganza airing on Monday 12 UTC but because of that we are actually going to be getting 50 diamond cubes on the third day for the first day we're getting exp uh, miracle uh, and then we're getting some AP 53 of them so that's cool and I guess if you ever wanted to watch it you could see there's a broadcast here it, it brought me to YouTube hey subscribe to my channel <laughs> all right but I didn't show this on my last video yesterday because the, the my scout video ended up being like 16 ish minutes like a really long video and i thought if i if i showed it in that one video it would have been like a 30 40 minute video or something and that's i don't think you guys would like a very long video like that so i decided to just separate it to today's video so yeah we're gonna go through the bond among knights dark territory right here so as you can see we see shasta right there so of course we have a fair battle ex and i'm gonna try my best to get an s rank on the first camp so far i had an a rank very close so our goal is to get an S rank today. So let's do it, gamers. So we're gonna take a quick look right here. Non-element, but I guess that what we should do for this boss is more shows what he has. So since he's not an element, you know, really you can use whatever you want. I mean, it's more recommended for non-element characters. So that's why I have like this team right here, my sort of non-element team. So yeah. Also, there's a reason I have Stacia Asana. <laughs> And that's mostly because uh, the next boss is more weak towards magic attack. God, why is this loud? I don't know, but I like it at the same time. It's epic. <laughs> so yeah, he does that. Then he has that little uh, physical resistance and all. So of course, I want to get rid of his incarnate gauge thing. So we're going to re at, at Alice right there. That's motivation. But because I made... Um, because I, I made Aedis level 100, you know, her enhance is a little bit better, so that's cool. Okay, now what I want to do here is I'm just going to switch to these two, because screw it. I don't know why I have that Kirito, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I, I kind of just have them there. Okay, anyway, bam. Okay, 58%, and because we're like this, I'm just going to do a little hit right here. Look at that level 3, <laughs> the power. I mean, I could make her... I can make her weapon like limit broke once if I wanted to, but since I don't have that many weapons, I, I'm gonna hold on th that for later because I got more characters than weapons. Good job, me. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm just at that point in my life where I'm just kind of going all over the place. So what I want to do is I'm just gonna straight up just give myself a little attack up because screw it. He could die here if I, if I do this right. I mean, technically, I could just... Nah. I, like, I could just use Aedis, but it's possible if I spam this, I could get to Asuna. Usually it happens. It's not, is it not going to happen? Eh, I give up. Screw it. We're just going to use Aedis. This is the power of level 100 Aedis. Of course, we're going to take out an awesome look at her special. It's not the new one. It's the old one that is still better. But she has a physical attack. And yeah. So here we go. This is how much you can do towards a non-element character. <laughs> Get destroyed, Shasta. I'm the new Dark Knight leader thing guy, yeah. That's a re I really like the background though, like no lie. It looks really nice. Okay, I guess Asuna just got further back. Okay, we're just gonna just straight up attack him. Let's see how much we can deal, 14,000. 
I mean, if I had Austin in the front, which is my goal, he would have had that physical minus 20% and that attack up, and he would have dealt more damage. And then I could have killed him in like 12 turns or something. That was my goal, but I guess life doesn't want us happy sometimes. So, almost 12,000. He almost dead. Yeah, he's almost dead. Just, just one more hit. Can I give him a little boop on the head? Boop! <laughs> There we go. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's the boss for Shasta. 13, not bad. That's the boss for him. But now, for the great part. Yeah, we got that nice Aedis the thing right there. It's very nice looking. I like it. Okay, I don't believe that I could one-turn this boss. But I think you need, like, 55 turns to get an S rank. So, that's 30 turns for, you know, one whole round. I think I could do it on the second turn. That's why I have, like... I guess 80 so we're gonna see if we could we could do that and hopefully uh, we could survive I'm debating on switching this Kirito out I think I might use Yujiro instead got his blue rose and I need to give him some since I switched out that Kirito just gonna do that and I think it might be better uh, the reason for that is because this boss is more weak towards magic so like more magic is better so yeah he's water element you want to use earth element which is why I have else right there and I would bring Ronier, but I kind of need like the other characters that I do have. So that's kind of why I'm not I'm not bringing her. Uh, I have Yu-Gi-Oh just as a, a second charge unit. So it could have gone the same with uh, the Kirito. So it doesn't matter if I use Kirito or or Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so yeah, he brings out that that second guard guy thing, and he's terrible because. Uh, sword doesn't do as much damage if I remember so if we take a quick look at the actual boss uh, we could see that he's resistant and my face cam kind of covers it down below but he's a resistant towards sword lances and I guess it's a hammer I don't know the ban hammer <laughs> but yeah he's weak against that and also he's resistant to get fire of course because he's water and he's weak towards earth element and I guess right now he just has an attack up and a physical res and this this damn thing right here uh, also <laughs> Like, resistant towards sword lands and a ban hammer, but also weak towards dark element, and then we also have that physical resistance. It's terrible, I know. Okay, but yeah, just gonna try and uh, get rid of the whole thingamabobber. I actually, I should have switched her, and eh, this is fine, this works. <laughs> if I had like Alice on like my like, inside, I could have used that break on the actual boss and actually have a better break. But hey, this is fine too. Okay, anyway, uh, my goal right now is to bring up my Incarnate as much as I can. Because apparently, I guess the meta in this game is just to spam your Incarnate as much as you can. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, right here. I mean, I guess I should have aimed for the... Oh, no, I, I aimed for the boss. Um, I could just straight up attack the boss now. Or I could bring out Yu-Gi-Oh... I think I'm gonna bring out Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I'm gonna do this because I want to bring out my Incarnate like really quick. That's that's my goal, and I guess I'll, I'll pour towards him. Too bad this is a physical a physical hit compared to his regular soul. Get him, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wait, is this is this Incarnate a physical, or is it a magic attack? I don't know. <laughs> I should have checked. Oh well. I mean, okay. Alice got hurt a little bit. Okay, so this is. This is slightly fine. Yeah, I could I could do this. Um, should I do it on this boss? Yeah, I'm doing the boss. Okay, and now my next move is to just incarnate. Uh, I could use Al. Yeah, I'll use Alice right now. Why not? I gotta get rid of this thing anyway. So yeah, we're gonna look at all these nice animations because that's part of what makes this game epic. <laughs> these cool animations, and we all get to experience it forever. <laughs> I stand for God. What's her name? Why I'm trying to make a joke and I forget. Boys who cry. Got him. <laughs> Featuring Pearl, of course. Okay. Because we got that. We're just gonna try. I should have switched Leafa. God damn it. I messed up. I mean slightly, but it's not as bad. Yeah. Okay. This should be fine because the, the other guy's dead anyway. Okay. Hurt the boss a little. So you can see Leafa they like 6,000 and she's higher level than Yu Gi Oh! 8,000 with magic. So that's why magic is more preferred in this in this battle. So that's what we're gonna try and do. That's why I, I also have uh, Stacia Asuna. Okay. Um, 
Adis is not out here. She she does not want to be out here. Um, actually no, she's right there. Should I bring her out now is the question. Okay, my what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge again because you know bring up my charge as much as I can. And then I'm just gonna switch you out since you've already done your incarnate thing, and then we're gonna heal for you, Geo. He's dead. All right. And he does this damn stupid move that hits everyone. Very scary. <laughs> okay, how much health? We're slightly good if he doesn't... Okay. Woo! Woo! Scary moves out here. Okay. I'm um, just gonna give this to Yu-Gi-Oh. And then charge. Okay, how much... Because I'm gonna heal with Aedis. I have 10 turns left. Which is why I don't believe I can do this in one turn. Okay, how much can I deal in total? Um, how much does this do? 87%? So what I'm gonna do instead is... Make sure I can incarnate in the next turn. Because I only got 8 rounds. <laughs> Ooh, until this is finished. It's... It's... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Boomer. Okay. Come on, switch. Switch to Leafa. Okay, he doesn't want to switch to Leafa. Um. Well, I can only do two incarnates in one. Man. Uh, okay. So if I did this on Yu-Gi-Oh. I think I'll have one more, one more left by the end of this. I sh I should, please. Okay, hits everyone. Ow. Okay. One left. I think I want to keep you, and then I'm going to bring out Stacia Asuna. Just deal as much as we can. Uh, it's not enough damage. I thought I could do three incarnates in one. I probably just did something wrong. It's okay, though. I'll take what I can get. 30,000, though, with Stacia Asuna. Uh, level 90. I put Asuna second because she has that damage down thing. I mean, it doesn't really affect Yuji though. Oof. And yes, it does work if there's only one turn left, which is fantastic. Okay, can I reach 55 though is the question. God. 12,000, thank you, Aedis. I wanted to incarnate with Aedis too, but no good opportunity. Okay. And then deal a little bit more damn how much health is he at? That's all that's all I wanna know, and I can't see. <laughs> Thank you, game. So yeah, I, I can't one turn this for my life. I, I tried to incarnate as much as I can. I, I probably messed up somewhere. I thought I can do three incarnates in one, but I guess not. Okay, anyway. So we still have a chance of an S rank. That's why I had enough for, for 40. If I can't, then I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How much how much health is he at? He's gonna summon his friend again. <laughs> Come, my brother! <laughs> Yo, Ganda Knuckles! Okay, he's at blue- or he's at yellow health. That's good. That's actually good. Okay, again, we need to get rid of this thingamabobber. Because we hate it. Man, I should pay attention to, like, how much would Asuna compare to- Yuji do. I'm f I still want to say Asuna does more because her charge is a little bit higher. It's the fullest of stats. <laughs> okay, where's Asuna? I, I think. Okay, I want to hit him. 48%. And Yuji. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to think aloud. Is this. I mean, it should be fine. It's the same old usual stuff I did earlier. I should switch off or Alice to the back so I can actually hit the, the boss a little bit. Why, he run for yu gi -Oh? Okay, buddy. I see you, and I hate you. God damn it. Okay. I I'm like debating if I'm going to use Stacia or not, but, you know, Earth does a little more. Let's let's compare. We, we saw this earlier, so... Let's let's see how much this does. Uh, Station over to what? 30k? 
36k. I th or was that 15k? Which one was the 36k on? Oh no, I'm blind, that's why I wear glasses. I should have switched Leaf again. God damn it. Okay, just, just kill both of them. I want to say that 15k was was on the boss. Oh no. I should have just used Stacia. Okay. 11. I feel like that's on the other guy though. Okay. He's, he's so low. God damn. I don't think I made it. This is like 45. Um, okay, we're just gonna do this. Wait, how much health are people at? Yuji might die. I have to. He's so low. I want to get that S rank. That's my goal. Okay, Yuji would have died there. Just don't go for Yuji, and he's fine. Okay, what I want to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to this time give that to Asuna. Because it might be better. Might be. Okay. Then switch. Hmm. Humana, humana, humana. Okay, I might have to wait till the next turn. I, I have to do this or Aedis will die. <laughs> okay, where would she be placed? She'll be placed later. Okay, no, I, I have to... I have to attack with you. Okay, my thought process. I don't I don't think I made the, the goal. Ow. Please tell me you're alive. Okay. Okay, you're fine. You're fine and dandy. I wanna like I I was hoping that I could have Aedis with me and I realized that I don't have enough. Damn it. So if I do this. Is it possible to have Leafa switch over to the front like this? Let me break the game. Okay, I could bring out Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> um, I kind of have to. Man, that means I didn't make it. Because I think right at this point, this would be 55. Because I think that's 55 turns. Okay, I'm going to do this. Bring you out. Switch again. I mean, I could hope for the best, he might die here. 32k. So he did more damage here. Okay, please, hoping for the- hoping for the, the best. He's almost dead. 12k. And the last one. 15k. Is this an extra? I'd be so mad. I'd be so sad if I saw 56. Oh no. No, I'm too off, dude. <laughs> no. God damn it, man. God damn it. All right, so I tried doing that a second time. It, it's kind of so I'm just gonna kind of leave it off there. I try again, but it's almost 3 a.m. So I think I I kind of have to end it there. But yeah, you get the just idea of how to get an S rank. I, I was close, close enough. Just try and incarnate as much as you can. Probably, if I found out different ways, I could probably do better. I don't know. I'm bad at this game. So, anyway. So, if you actually did this event, you can get Leafa Evolution Crystals. You can also get this Integrity Knight Armor R3, which I just needed one more. So, I can show that off real quick. But, you can also get those Guaranteed Ticket Scouts for that Leafa or Bracoli coming out very soon. I think they said, what, mid-January, if I remember. So, yeah. Uh, in this event, though, the difference with this one and the original is you do get more leafa ha hacking crystals or what do they call evolution crystals in this game so I, I need an s ring for bricoli it, it's possible i, I i'm just bad all right and of course let's take a quick look at this nice armor and see you know if if its stats are good compared to the rest so of course it has that regular magic and magic defense type of dealio right there that's why i said dealio you got a problem with that huh <laughs> fight me in minecraft i'll delete your minecraft account before you can even fight me all right so 324 defense 324 magic defense and 948 hp so if we compare it to everything else i have here um defense wise it is third third best okay and then if we do magic defense it is oh wow it's it's kind of right there Nice, but compared to every armor, 
It's the third best. So yeah, it's, uh, it's non-element, so you want to give it to your non-element characters. Anyways, I got to end off this video here. Thank you all for watching this video of Sora All Analysisation Rising Steel. If you guys didn't enjoy, don't forget to leave a like to let me know you guys enjoy. I want to see some more. Subscribe to new channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you guys miss a video from this channel, as well as joining my Discord. Very bottom of the description, you can click on that link and be sent right to the Discord. Right where at that, why not also follow my other socials? All links down in the description below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Kaz. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm, I'm doing my outro, Al, sweetie. Shush. I, I'll see you guys all again in the very next video. And goodbye.